how is it going? As you can see, I am not in my usual place right now, and that's because I am at my parents' house for a very specific reason. Uh, and I have someone here to help me explain why that is. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I am at my parents' house. This is my sister, Anna. Hello. We figured, you know, we've been in quarantine now for almost two months, about two months. Yeah. Uh, we figured it's time for a road trip. So we're going to go on a road trip. Road trip. Get no, hyped. I'm kidding. It's, uh, well, I'm not kidding. We are going on a road trip. We are leaving tomorrow morning. We are headed to University of Minnesota, which I'm sure you already saw in the title of this video. That's where I go. So she's going to, she goes go to University Cubs. of Minnesota. We have to move her out of her dorm because she's been home for the last... Since spring break. There you so go. So like eight weeks or something. Yeah, so she's been home for a long time. All of her stuff is still there. Uh, and I figured this would be a good opportunity to show what the world kind of looks like uh, with everything shut down uh, and still in quarantine. Mm -hmm. And my situation's like a really common one where mm -hmm. you, I had to leave before moving out and stuff. And yeah. So. A lot of college students have experienced the same thing, and they're going to start heading back to their colleges to move stuff out. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to just showcase some of that and see what's going on. So we've done a little bit of prep already tonight, uh, and our plan is to drive straight there. It's five to five and a half hours from here in Chicago. Uh, we're going to drive straight to University of Minnesota, move her out, and drive back in the same day. Uh, we're not planning on really... Day trip stopping anywhere we're gonna just stop for gas we're packing all of our food we made sandwiches already mm -hmm. and we're gonna go to bed in a little bit we're gonna be up at five in the morning tomorrow and it's gonna be a day but we're gonna we're gonna bring you with as motivation and documentation yeah, and just kind of show you what <laughs> the world is like right now so with that we are going to go to sleep mm -hmm. and i will see you at five in the morning yeah great <laughs> okay Let's Five. Oh wait, you gotta get going. One, twenty minutes. so dark. Okay, we're on the way. Five hours and 45 minutes. Anna's driving first. We'll be in Minnesota. Five hours and 45 minutes. Let's go. So let's go over real quick what has to happen. We have a three hour window to move Anna out that we were assigned and there's only how many people in the building at any given time? They're only allowed eight, but like it might be, so at most it's eight. There's children. Eight, eight, eight residents, residents in the res hall at any one time. So that means at most it's three times eight. 24, 24 people, people. 24 non-human employees and obviously face masks and all that stuff the whole time yeah, so we'll put those on um but let's see how intense everything is in the, in the building you like anna's face mask it says feet six it says yep <laughs> it says teeth <laughs> teeth <fix. laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see how right, intense bye. everything is in the building. <laughs> bye. Took it out about an hour. Hour clean <laughs> We just gotta finish packing the car and then the nice short five, five and a half hours back to back to home. Yeah. <sighs> Almost there. Oh, I have to 
unpack the car now. Hi, puppy! Hi! <laughs> I missed you too! Okay, uh, done. There I am, hello. 14 hours later, we finished. Okay. <laughs> Serious, oh, okay. 14 uh, hours later, we finished. Everything's out of the car. Uh, we drove out at sunrise and came back at sunset. Sunset, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was surprised. I, I did notice like fewer cars on the road. Hope all of you stuck at home enjoyed feeling like you were out of the house for a little bit. So here's a surprise for next video. Oh!